Hey Kino Nation, it's Wayno. It's a long video. Um, first off, um, we take no responsibility if anything breaks on your machine while trying to attempt this. Um, again, be careful, and it can be done. And uh, so yeah, again, thank you. But yeah, at the end also I mentioned, and it's a long video. I'm telling you, this is for Murray. Um, but at the end I talk about being careful with touching metal and stuff. Yeah, watch what you touch. Because you're going to hurt yourself if you don't. Uh, you probably should wear some gloves or something when you're getting in the back of this machine. So, Alright, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks, uh, Murray. Uh, I needed to clean my printer after this. Um, and I'm glad you wanted that done. So, hope you enjoyed. We'll continue with uh, regular stuff next week. Hey, how you doing, Kino Nation? True story. Um, this is Wayno from W&J Forever Kino Casino. I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> you guys see my missing screen? I'm working on a screen on MoneyStorm. Uh, it's old school, so I have to repair stuff. Inside, here's all of our notes for our Kino. Funny, right? Anyways, I have to. Anyways, let me get back. Squirrel. Um, because I don't want you guys to go, well, why the hell is the screen missing on that? Because I'm working on it. Um, this, I'm going to just kind of take a little step back this video um that i'm about to do is going to be for murray phillips he's a subscriber uh he actually commented in the pioneer crossing vid um for us and he was asking if i would show him ivy wayno uh the printer clean out and then basically the buttons change so i'm going to go ahead and do that for tutorial tuesday tonight um because um, that's what we want to do, and it's been a long time since he commented. I don't want him to think I forgot, so I'm gonna do that, and um, we'll continue next week with the ten spot of that and um, of the four card, and we're gonna move on after that to a different series for Tutorial Tuesdays. But again, wanna um, do this for Murray. So again, uh, like, subscribe is free for you, the guys that don't like this kind of stuff that's okay um we're releasing more videos um you know like every day um from our vegas stuff we got so much content um some of it might be every other day i don't know it's kind of giving you the build up um it, it was a up and down and down and up and all kinds of stuff i want you guys to watch those so anywho um thank you to kino nation hashtag kino nation um 319 subscribers last time i checked. can't even it's ridiculous. Um, can't believe it. Um, thank you guys were humbled. So I'm going to pause this and I'll be working on this. Uh, I'm going to uh, just do different steps of it. Need to get to it now because the printer process, um, I'm going to show what I do to clean it. But um, you can do another method too. Um, it costs you money. The way I do it doesn't cost me money. So I like saving money. Believe it or not, I know we go throw them in machines. Um, and then I have to turn this one on. So I guess I'll just go ahead and demonstrate that um, since I'm here. So we come over here on the side of this machine here. Um, I'll turn the vid around uh, for people so don't get dizzy. Um, we have two keys. I installed the second jackpot key. There's a reason for that, but uh, nerdy stuff. Um, here, I don't have mine with locks. Um, there is a lock, but... Uh, it's it's blocked up. We we actually blocked the lock, but you can pull this. Boom! You're in your your uh, computer area. Really, I mean down in here. I don't have a lot of light on this right now, but down on there is my mother. You know, you got the motherboard, what they call the MPU, the processing unit, power supply down below. Um, your bill validator, all your interesting stuff. Your bezel, but open here. This is where the casinos. This is usually locked to the casino, by the way. And then that one's even locked, too, <laughs> underneath. So, believe me, you're not going to just steal their money. Um, not a thing. Um, some of you guys have probably seen me. Well, I don't know if I ever showed you. These monitors come right out. Uh, I've repaired these and put my own aftermarket LCDs in because um, sometimes you have to. The touch screen gets messed up. Uh, when they come out of the casinos, a lot of people have scratched them with their coins. They believe... If they use a special coin or something, they're getting more luck, but they're really scratching um, the touchscreen and messing it up so you can't pick those keynote numbers. True story. 
kind of sucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do as much as I can. I know the light's kind of bad right here, and I guess I can go get some light, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you this while I can. Um, I may end up going to a tripod just so I don't shake you to death, because what I have to do is remove the glass. I actually uh, pop the, the little, that's where the player tracking should go, but this one doesn't have it, so you pop that, pull out the printer, I'm gonna, uh, well, a little bit, remove the glass, then I have access to the whole top where I can unplug the printer and everything. Um, true story to this, sorry, I know it's kind of messing up. True story to this, um, to do the printer and any of your bulbs, you should have your power off, all the way off. You'll notice my light isn't even on in there. And most of these, if you're working on these, you'll know they have a light internally. Um, and I, can, I guess I can demonstrate that right now. I'm afraid when I turn it off, on a, I always keep them on a power supply on top of it. But when I turn that power supply on, knowing me, I have this machine just going to turn right on. But I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So, ah, sorry, slop. We'll see what happens when I turn this on. Yep, whole machine turned on. Knew it would. Um, so I'll let it boot up. Um, oh, man, I really did a good lock job. Holy crap. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So, that, see that bottom light? That's always going to be on, even when this machine is off. So, um... There you go, load it up pretty quick. Um, but I'm gonna turn this off. So my point is this, if you go to work on this machine at home and you're gonna go ahead and remove that printer and work on these bulbs, it still may have some electrical charge in there. And you know, never take out your MPU, this whole tray, without having the power. I just, it's, I, I've done it. Static electricity kills these machines, just so you know. So. I am a sock wearer, so if you do that and you're not charged, you know, wearing a strap, um, not a good idea. And I probably would wear a strap, um, like, because I'm a computer nerd, and I would um, clip it to hear the alligator clip on my wrist and do it. Okay, but here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you the difference. See how that light's on right now and the machine game is off? But I'm still, if I'm going to work on this printer, I'm, again, going to make sure that light ain't working. Now, also... Your machine may not have that bulb in there, or it's burnt out. Some I've come across that too. Oh, thanks, honey. Turn away. And if you come across that, um, again, make sure this thing is unplugged before you start messing with it. Just don't want you to ruin your machine, and who knows. So I'm going to go ahead again. All mine is turned on surge protector stuff. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn it off. Okay. Um, that way, there's no light. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this um, and get this on a tripod real quick so you guys can see um, me take this part off. And Murray, this is for you again. First thing I would deal with before my light issue is this printer if that's what you're having. What I'm going to do actually though for you, Murray, is I'm going to show you that mine needs to be cleaned too. And I'm going to show you the difference because you should know that. Okay, I don't want you to think that I'm just telling you something and it doesn't work because it does work. Okay, um, mine needs to be cleaned too. So I'm going to show you why. So... We have um, our own tickets, um, and basically it says W&J Forever Chemo Casino. And you can kind of see on this one, it's fading on the bottom. And as this gets dirty and nasty and all that kind of stuff, it's going to continue to fade to where you won't even be able to see it and it won't take it in your, in your deal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you, um, again, um, the fix to that. So... Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to close this up. We are going to, again, if I make you dizzy, I'm sorry. I don't have it on the tripod right now. New camera. I started filming this true story, and it didn't even, uh, oh, duh, me. Okay, now I'll turn it back on. Now you can see why I sometimes do it the other way. Um, so I'll turn it up. We'll let it boot. Oh, let's, then I can, it'll take my voucher. Green will mean go, by the way, when it comes out. Our lights work on this one. It's doing a cycling thing. That's the build validator. But uh, no, I was doing this video before, a true story, the stupid phone cut off, and I'm like, what? So I guess I wasn't even recording. Yeah, true story. So all these lights are working. That's a good thing. We're going to show the light replacement. And just so you know, depending on the software in here, like this machine, all this was stuff was meant to be changed out in the casino. Um, glass, you could make this a whole different type of game, a whole different type of slot machine. This could just be a straight-up slot, like a money storm or whatever they, they wanted to do. 
So they could just change out the glass. They could change the MPU out, right, and do everything different. So my point is, is by the software, that software, that MPU board in there, tells what light should be on at what time by what game. All games are differently. So, you know, you may think also your lights are burnt out, but they may not be. That's a true story. So you just need to know your machine, basically, on that. Know what games are supposed to light up. Like, see, on certain slot games we have on here, certain things will light up, the nine lines and all that different stuff. But, of course, that's not going to work on your Kino. Nine lines don't, don't light up, you know, or your change light's only going to light up. You know, well, if I hit change right now, I'm going to give myself extra money because I have it set up that way. But um, So I don't want to hit my change light. Um, eh, why not? I don't have to put the voucher in, although I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to show you. I have this hooked up pretty cool. Watch. So I hit that. And it gave me free money. I like that. Figure that one out. Wish that could happen at the casino, right? True story. So I don't know how much it's going to pay me. I have different settings to where um, it'll pay me at different uh, intervals. Um, but this will allow me to... This is in a sense free play, I guess. I don't like free play like that much because I still think it tilts the machine a little bit. But it has paid. I've seen it pay, so I don't know. Um, again... So here's the ticket that I was just showing you. We're going to put this one in. This should give it, oh my God, we should have 3,561.85. True story. And it's all lit up down, like I told you, so that now it's ready to go. So see. Oh, see, look, it doesn't even want to take my voucher. Look at Maybe it won't. No, nah, it does. See, and that's a problem also you can run into. If your printer ain't running down because it can't read the barcodes good. At the casinos also, if you wad up your ticket and you're carrying it around like I see a lot of people do, if it gets creased in the middle with that bar, this thing ain't going to read. You're going to be at the cashier stand having them, um, you know, take it and then have to validate it that way and give you your money. But it can happen. Just know that if it's not taking it, most likely that's the reason. However, we have found at some casinos where this is legit broke. It'll take money, but it won't take <laughs> The tickets, and it's probably because the game tech just doesn't know about it yet, um, and I don't really care to tell them because I just, eh, I'm not trying to be mean, but eh, usually I'm pissed off with the machine that took my money anyways. So here we go. Like I said, three, five, six, one, eight, five. So I'm going to show you, Murray, um, that mine needs to be cleaned. Um, true story. So it'll say cash out now, right? That button lit up. See, it wasn't lit up before. All right, so I'm going to cash out. Cash out. So here we go. We're going to get my ticket, and I'm going to show you. Um, if it cashes out, holy crap, did it not cash out? Look at, oh, look at that. Call attendant. Printer has wrong paper or sensor. That's not a true story. Uh, I think it just got stuck. So hold on. I'll fix that. Jeez. Now I'm going to say I'm glad I did this video. Thanks, Murray. Hold on. So funny, uh, true story. I'm going to do my, uh, computer geeks toolkit here. Cause again, I'm going to fix this. This could actually happen to you, uh, in the field where if I was working in, and the casino and had to fix this. True story. Um, so I'm going to show what happens if this happens. Because um, I should. So this is my little handy dandy deal. Uh, my tools. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this error here and I'm going to show you how you fix it. Again, though, no, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to turn off everything like I said I was. Um, but I'm going to put this on the um, tripod, which I have up there, and do this so you don't have to. Um, Get dizzy, I'm so dizzy, my head is spinning. That's all I got. Okay, I love that song, by the way. Okay, I'll pause this or stop it, and then I'll get back. All right, here we go, Murray. So that happened. So like I said, I'm not going to be the liar guy. I don't know if you can see me really well. It's the best I could do under the circumstances because I'm not a video taping professional, as you guys already know from our videos. But uh, we're getting better at it, right? Finally bought a tripod, right? We... True story, JoJo and I went on one of our thrift store uh, adventures. We should do a thrift store adventure channel too. We won't though. But we went on a thrift store in Vegas, in Vegas, and we found a lot of nice stuff. Um, and this tripod was one of them. So, um, like I said, I am grounded. I don't know if you can see this. Um, my hour layer clip is already grounded. I like that even before I even start off doing stuff. But Wayne Paul is now going to know there's an error here. Not a big deal. I'm going to power down my system. And then I'm going to come over because I told you about that light issue. And if I can... What's neat about this too is I can kind of just... Whoops. Okay, there we go. I can move. I turn off 
my surge protector. Again, so I have no power. Um, Jojo, because she's awesome, turn on the light. So here, true story, you might need your little handy dandy flathead. And to get in here, if you have one of these like I do, where you got to pop this out, it's it's kind of like a, um, just like your metal tray. And I did jam mine in here this last time because why? Because I was uh, working on this thing. So now I'll get it by these clips here. Just be gentle. No, um, there's glass up here and you just, or your screen, you don't want to get poking around and in a hurry. So if you have to have time, uh, Murray, just take your time to do this stuff. So again, I removed that panel. And this, what I was talking about was these two clips. They go up there in the groove where they're groovy, get it? <laughs> you see the old player tracker. So that's where you used to have, you know, they used to have it. I don't know. Um, the story, the backstory on this one, this machine was up at Cash Creek Casino. Up, uh, It's a really nice casino up in Northern California, Indian Casino. I have the stand that says Cash Creek. Uh, true story. So now I'm at this, um, this junction. What I'm going to do to remove this glass, I have to pull out my printer a little bit. You can't just pull it all the way out, Murray. You gotta pull out just a little bit. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm just gonna kind of grab it by the front bezel here and just kind of have my fingers underneath it too. And I'm just gonna kind of work it, right? Like just get it a little bit because it slides. It's, believe it or not, it slides. It might be a little tough. So look at, I slid it out, right? Boom, got a slide. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, once I remove, I'm gonna remove the glass now, but I'm gonna put it all back in, turn it back on and show you that I fixed the, the printer error because this could happen to you. So here though, I have to take this glass. So this is out, your fingernails, it's good if you have big fingernails, I guess, and you don't cut your nails and you're just bad at grooming. But you're gonna get underneath here and you're gonna kind of, there's a slot up in here. You're just gonna push up the glass, like legit, push it up just a little bit, gives you enough, and you pull it out. There's these little clips here to hold it in place on the player tracker. And Wayne Paul, you get it down to kind of hit down on top of your printer and then you just, remove look at that and i like to set this on my couch or my chair or a soft place and tell nobody don't touch it because i don't want to break my glass because finding those old school ones oh my gosh it is a real real deal so i'm going to look in here and see what's going on um it said error and it's kind of weird because it appears i have printer paper um so you can in the field let's open this up i uh, look at that it did print my voucher halfway See, look at, I don't know if you see that. Printed out one. But what I am going to do, <gasps> true story, you can actually have this powered on to work on this, okay? Um, you can. Um, because in the field, you would have to be able to feed the um, paper, the new one back in. It has an automatic feeder, and it says on top of it. Um, and I'm sure you know how to do that, Murray. If you don't, man, you're just gonna have to email me, give me some information, and I'll talk to you and we'll figure it out but halfway that one would not work back in there and i have ram cleared this so because i've ram cleared this um i haven't updated where it says w and j forever keynote casino it just says your establishment it's a funny funny story uh, but that is ram ticket number zero zero two prove that thing. so i'm gonna actually push this back down um i'm actually gonna pull out my ticket feeder paper. Now, ticket feeder paper only goes in one way. True story. So I'm gonna go ahead, knowing that this had an error, and I'm just gonna turn back up. I gotta get my surge protector back on. So you can um, keep this machine uh, open the door while you're working on this part. Again, I'm still grounded. Important, please ground. I mean, again, if you're in here touching, you just don't want to do that when the power's on. You can zap something. You know, it happens. Uh, it's kind of rare, but I am in my socks. I'm not wearing like shoes. Shoes would be, I feel a lot better. See how much light this thing gets? So look, at even my printer's now like, hey dude, like what's going on? So I'm gonna let this cycle through. I'm gonna go ahead, um, I, would, I, I can't move that off the tripod. Just trust me when I say, you insert the paper here on top. And it's actually here it moving. It's actually doing its thing right now and reading the paper, okay? So what I'm gonna do at this point in junctures, I'm gonna actually, set this back down and hope that uh, it prints without having a problem. Um, and I print it out. It came back out. See, paper out, paper jam, all this stuff. Man, I really messed it up. It's going to test it and make sure it's going to print me out a tester. 
form feed, see? How's that work? Need them. So now I'm gonna show you what I was gonna show you originally, Marie. And I got this machine on. Now I have another ticket here and you can see what I was talking about with Rampler. I got some old tickets and I wanna show you the differences. I don't know if you can see them really good on the deal, but some of these are really faded. And so yeah, mine needs to be clean too and I'm gonna show you what's up. Um, down here, you can't even really see the, the info. But this is, again, WJ Forever Keto, I'd say no. And um, there we go, the validation, ticket number three of them, 9835. So we're gonna go ahead and put this 9835, and again, after the RAM clear, um, I had one, I don't know what I just did with it. I got through in the back, I did. After RAM clear, I have, you have to go back in your settings, just so you know, and do all that. RAM clears are important if you want to see wins, just so you know that. Okay. We are gonna close this. And I hope this demonstration is helping you, Murray. Um, again, if it doesn't, hey man, like, just let me know. Now I have to let this deal, ah, look, it looks like it's gonna be good. It's my ticket here, so we're gonna see what happens, see if I can get away with this time and actually show you what I was gonna show. Oh, look, it doesn't wanna take it. All right, come on, try it. Look at it, I want to take my voucher, let's see. Okay, let's get it a minute. Maybe it's still cycling. Try it again. It is not liking me. Let's see what we got going on. Good thing I know what I'm doing, sort of. Sure. On this, I'm gonna pull my cash box, it's not long. In, close my door. Let it cycle again, right? Get this under. Right. Probably get it. Yeah. I'm not thinking I had it closed good enough. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. This could also be a bad voucher. I haven't tested it. I got more though. See. Oh, it's not a good thing. Oh, very sorry. Right. Good story. Try a different voucher. Maybe that was bad. Drop like 20 more. Now see, told you. Not perfect. We'll get it, I think. Even after like 50 days of editing, right? Let's see what we got. Watch. Give it a second. Maybe I made, did I make a bet? I made a bet. No, didn't make a bet. Let's go back out to the deal. Great. Oh my gosh. It's in the use of time. True story. 98.95. Okay. So we got it going. I'm going to go ahead and hit cash out now. Jeez. Sorry about that. Wayne's gonna be working on it. Pretty took it. Let's see if it does this thing now. Did I do a paper clean? I did. Look at it worked. But see, here's what I was gonna tell you. See, I'm hoping you can see this, Murray. Um, it is faded right here. It does faded. Let me go in front of the camera and see if I can do it. I'll show you a little bit better as I dropped all the other stuff. It is faded on the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I do to fix that printer. But I'm gonna take the printer out now. Okay, true story. And we'll see if I fix that bottom and some of that lineage in there. Yeah. Okay. Gotta get down here on the good sound. Oh, look at this one had creases in it. It may not work at work. And, but it took me two hours to get it in there. <sighs> Credits out. All's good. Again, I'm gonna do what I say I do. I'm gonna do it the right way. Power off inside. At this point, I'll power off here. And then I'm gonna go ahead, alligator clip into the wire. And here's the deal, you don't have the wire mirror, you know what I mean? You find a different ground. You can use the top of the frame, true story, whatever you need. So I'm gonna pull this out. Again, now this can get kinda, um, there's a removable tray up in here. I have, some don't have them. Some people, they've gutted these things. And Murray, until I look at your machine, or if I looked at your machine, I wouldn't know, right? So 
but that just get that out of the way it's not going to hurt nothing it's removable at that point there is um some things you want to do and i like to do i back here there's these cables um true story i think i'm going to pause the video and show you what i'm talking about and disconnect murray so you know okay because you have to disconnect this thing to do it right um they make a card that you can put in here to clean these like with the paper okay they're pricey you can find them online um basically you know um this is a gen 2 netplex i don't know what you have there's different models um then you can buy the card and do it uh, i think they're pricey when i can just but you can take compressed air blow in here pop this open while it's in the field as we call it pop this open I can show you the areas and you could clean it this way without having to take it all out. Might be a good idea, Murray. It just might. Um, I, Wayne Paul, is going to use my handy dandy air compressor. And I'm not going to use a lot of pressure on it because I know I adjust my PSI. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to blow it up. <laughs> yeah, like it sound. And then I'm going to bring it back and show you. See, now inside here, it gets like dust, nasty. So I'm going to pause this video, take it off the tripod, and kind of show you a little bit. I'm going to put my little headlamp on, too, so you can see. Okay? Um, I'm, I'm going to take this off. You know, I got the strappers. So. Okay. so we'll pause the video and stop the video. And I'll be editing all this in together. Yay. True content here at the w &J Forever Kino. Casino. And this is just the printer part. I haven't even got to the damn lights yet. Those are a little bit easier, I think. All right, I decided I would come in while I went into the garage just to show you uh, slots, <laughs> all the stuff I'm working on. Uh, inside that box, true story, is a printer, <laughs> extra one. Um, but again, I wanted just to show you this because I show you real content. Uh, w and J, that's what we do here. Um, and yeah, the pool table is not a pool table right now. It's got all my electronic stuff and even some fishing stuff because I like fishing and then our bar but yeah true story there's the monitor stuff all the stuff I'm working on I got like 20 different projects going on and never home to work on them. but uh, yeah work okay so I'm gonna grab um, what I need out of here to continue on with the video the handy dandy headlamp is what I dated and I got it I'll make the video a lot easier Okay, Murray, here we go. So like I said, I opened this up. Um, you can see um, that's how you get it out and you can open it up. Now, if you're not going to take it out, Murray, I'm going to turn on my handy dandy headlight cam. I think that'll help. I don't know if it will or not. Hopefully. Um, yeah, you can see inside. See how dirty mine even is? Like, I'm trying to get some good light in there for you. Um, you can just see how dirty and nasty it gets. It gets from smoke in the casinos. True story. Um, and you pull this out i like pulling this out and just getting a little separation in here so all this inside in here is where it gets bad and there's um just like anything there's like these little rollers these can go out um but all this stuff needs to be cleaned really good and you can see mine's kind of bad shape um what i would do too and i'm gonna go ahead and do it i'm gonna take a little um towel and i like to take um true story um you can see them right here um, and my cashews. I take a bottle. This is not mean green, please. It is um, just your basic water and one drop of Dawn. I like Dawn, the blue one. Uh, maybe the off brand works too. I don't know. And I'm not uh, not sponsoring them. And they don't sponsor me. Okay. I'm not a marketer. Point is, you can take this and I use this to clean my my glass and my deal. I'm 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 sorry. I'm particular. Um, this is how I am about this stuff. But I will take, um, it's going to be kind of hard because I'm one person, but I'm going to take a little of this sprayed on the rag, right? And then I'm going to clean all in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, be careful. You don't want to spray the, it directly in here. Bad idea, okay? Don't do that, especially since I, it's still hooked up electrically. I haven't even disconnected that stuff. And I'll show you. But this is if you're not going to remove it, Murray, you get this printer part, okay? So, um, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to stop it. And I'll come back after I've cleaned it a little bit. Okay, Murray, for the purposes of this video, I did a pretty good job of just kind of cleaning up real quick. Um, getting um, it pretty good. Um, 
just with like a cloth. You, I'll show you the cloth. It's really dirty. But um, heads up, these don't have just like your regular like printer cartridges. This is not like your over the counter. Uh, I don't know printer from you buy like Best Buy. Um, these are lasers, laser discs, and so everything's done with a laser. So, again, be really careful. Don't spray in here. Uh, clean as much as possible with that towel guy. And then what I'm going to do again is I'm going to show you. Right here would be the compressed air area. Spray in here really good where that yellow like uh, clip is. On there, get your rollers. Get everything good. As you can see back here is just where the paper enters, right? But do a really good job there of cleaning it. Be careful again with water up in here. These are um, like your power components. All this is like, it's like a switching board right here, um, to put it in simple terms, where all the power thing comes out and hits like your lights and, and all that cool stuff. And that's like, um, no shit, like your uh, sound amp, all that kind of stuff. You don't want to mess with that. It comes down into these speakers, you see. So you don't want to mess with that shit um, if you don't know what you're doing. So if you don't want to disconnect all this stuff to clean it, um, because, again, you just don't want to get into all that, this is what you have to do. Just pull it out this way, clean it. Compressed air in a bottle will do a pretty good job. Me, I like my air compressor. I really make sure it gets good, and I don't throw up too much PSI. People are going to go, oh, that's not the right way. I don't care. It's the way it works for me. So I'm going to do that. And, uh, again, um, I am not liable. We are not liable. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, you break your shit. Straight up. So I'm not telling you. There's, this is the most correct way in the world. Uh, it's what works for me. It's what works in the field. So it is what it is. Um, a little bit different. They have the, in the field, they just, it's different, right? Um, there, but uh, here, it's all good. Um, I, Murray, I'm going to get to the buttons one thing at a time. <laughs> so that's your buttons down there. Not a hard deal. I'm going to do my next video for uh, a tutorial on the buttons. Um, I'm going to try not to make you wait so long, though. I won't make it a Tuesday tutorial, okay? Um, so just trust me on that. I'll get to it uh, maybe tomorrow night. I'm off for the rest of the week, thank God. And uh, I will show you how to get to those. Um, and it won't be as long as video. But this one's a little more extensive, so I'm already born, people. And, uh, but again, giving you true content, that's what we do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to now, to take this out purposes, I'm going to go, ah, uh, got to close this doll. I can get it back. Up and close the clip. Up, close. Then, hey, how's it going? Now, this might actually fix it right there for the most part. If you just kind of did like a quick, and some people, <laughs> bend this guy, watch. <laughs> you can do that. Do the blow thing. Eh, again, probably not the smartest thing if you get a looch in there or something true story um that's good and i'm gonna do it the right way my paper's still there um you want to take the paper all the way out when you get this thing uh, disconnected i'm actually gonna um so up in here let's see if you see it there's an actual cable right here you see it and it's like a fo old phone card for phone cord cable plugs in right here that's your communication you gotta be real careful with this cable as you see it stretches out um and i taped mine right there back there because i had to work on uh, I had to solder some stuff back. So these cables are like eh, 30, 40 bucks. I didn't want to pay nobody. I could fix it myself. So I did. Um, but true story, um, just be really careful um, when you're taking this out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, Murray, if you're going to do it this way. And you'll see what I'm talking about that it um, unclips. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to pull it back in to take some of the slack out, if that makes sense, because I don't want to. But I see, if you can see it down in there. You just got to get in there and uh, kind of pain in the ass, actually. Um, I need two hands. So I will stop the video. You get the picture. Um, in fact, now that I remember this, you pull it all the way out here. Back in the day, I forgot. You got a clip, though. Make sure you see that clip? You got to actually push your finger um, right there. So... Let's see if I can do it one-handed. It's really tough at my old age. Pull, pull. God, I hate doing this one-handed because you could just really... Okay, I'm going to pause it. You get the concept. You got to do that. It's almost coming. Be right back. True story. Once I 
just wiggled. Oh my god, it made life so easy. But here's the deal. So right here, you can see it's kind of it's kind of hooked right here. If you can keep it hooked like that, see how my wires are exposed? That sucks. So you got to. That's what I said. You got to keep it good. But I like to see take it on the phone cord right there. If I can get it out from here, I'm just gonna pull it and leave. There's a um. That's right. There's a slider. So hold on one second. Okay, so, Murray, if you're listening to this, what you got to do is there's a spring-loaded deal here. You, you push this in. You hear that? That will let you, you have to hold it in as you pull your, your deal out and kind of jiggle. It'll let you release this whole bad boy up. Of course, I need two hands to do it, but it'll let you take the whole thing and slide it out. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and I'll come back. So Murray literally took me two seconds once I did that. Um, again, got my paper in, um, but it, it works off of that spring system and it goes through that groove. So now it's all out. Got my cable still. Life is good. I didn't have to disconnect all that. I mean, you could try to do all that, but see, it's all, if you do it right, it's all mounted in there, right? With screws and unless you're changing out the whole mount and putting it in a different area. Cause some, some of these, again, they're all universal. It's so funny with slot stuff. I could just talk about hours for how they are so smart in the casinos to change stuff out, but on these old ones, but long story. So I'm gonna get out of that. I'm gonna stop this and get going and uh, I'll come the next time you'll see me, I'll show you what I do to clean this. All right, Murray, let's get this uh, paper out because so we need to go for this bed. Um, my M life paper. Stupid casinos. Okay. Doing this one-handed is fun. Okay, so I'm going to take you guys on a trip out to my little shop. Taking a trip out to the shop. Going through. Let's get to see the house. Sort of kind of. Okay, I'm going to go out the back yet. So you're following me. You're seeing this live, genuine, and uh, going out to the back part of the house. <sighs> Don't mind the mess in my shop. My little shopper shopper. I turn a light on for you. Then the, the truck, the boat, the trailer, all the other crap. Okay, here we go. Tools. Yay. All right, so here we go. Um, true story. So, um, it's always nice. Again, don't mind the mess. Work on cars, stuff too. V dubs. Um, yeah, and all kinds of projects. Um, so what I'm gonna do? I'm simple. I'm gonna. This trash is not trash. It's really recyclables. Cause I'm too lazy to get to the recycle place yet so again i'm just gonna open this up this is the way i do it i know kind of why well, you're gonna like well dude so air compressors already got enough little air compress in um and then i have over here my handy dandy air nozzle the lower dilly bob watch it's so cool you can press it and go like this okay so as you see how i'm doing that i'm pushing it up true story so again, we're gonna get down on here. We're just gonna keep this far back. Again, Murray, not up in here. Pretty far back out. And I'm just, hey, how's it going? I'm gonna work around it. I'll get a little, hey, how's it going down in here? Just real quick. Okay. All needs. True story, right there. True story. Like it. I just like doing this one. And if you notice, I'm just doing this press. It ain't gonna kill it, people. It ain't gonna blow it. Okay, that's it. My compressor's turned off. I'll let the air just out, right? Push down, not on. Life's good. And then at this point, I'm gonna close this up. Okay. Actually, what I should do to make sure that that's... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna push that down and do it, too. Should push it down and do it, too. My bad. Hey, that wonderful sound. It's not horrible. Okay, I'm gonna take it up. Hey, and close it back off. Now I'm gonna take it down. And what I like to do again, some LCD. I'll come to the front of it too. And I know that's not what they tell you in the manuals. I don't care. Works for me. Okay, um, let's stop the video. Well, I'll take it back through. I don't care. I need to turn the lights off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop the video. Okay, walking back in the house. 
Oh, gosh. Alright, walking in. With my little headlamp. I wanted to do this before dark. Just didn't really get a chance to, to do that. But it is what it is. Alright. Back through the house. Gonna stop it. I'll get to the, to the machine. Okay, Murray. We're back. True story. Got it in one hand now. Grounded myself back out. Even though I well, should be good. Now, again, this portion down here has to slide in there. Okay. So we're going to make sure we can make that happen here for you. There it goes. Here, click. And just be very careful when you put this in. Watch this cord still. Make sure you're good. I'm going to get it to the back. Now, right here, I put my paper in because that's what I like to do. Um, actually, I'm going to pull it out a little bit because I still got to put it back in its nice little. What I do at this point, again, I'm careful with this. And I plug this right back to where it's got to go. Okay. I'm going to get it. It only fits in one way, people. Ah, there it goes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now, I can go. Ah, kind of relax a little bit. Back in here and watch my wires again. Make sure we're good. Sorry, I know. I'm not the best filmer guy. And we're going to go back here. I'm going to check. I don't want it. Here's the key. You do not want this bunching up too much back in here. True story. Okay. So you just want to make sure you know what you're doing. Be careful. So again, Murray, you're going to do this. And you're taking it out. Just be careful. You can do it. Just be careful. At this point, you can still put your paper in right here. True story. Um, I have to. I like keeping it out, though, a little bit. Again, because I have to put that glass back in, right? All right, so yeah. So, true story. Okay, so you did the blowing out thing. And... I know you want to say, oh, well, that's it, right? No, it's not. You, you need to clean this um, inside. And I like the cheap way because the kit has swabs, has like, it's basically wipes. They're alcohol wipes, really. And like, I always say card kit, but it's, it's they make a card thing you can, you can slide through. But it's just not as good as um, this method because it's cheaper. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to, hold on. 91% alcohol. Q-tippers. True story. And what I'm going to do, and if I spill this, Jojo's going to kill me because it's her chair. Or not. Oh, God, I think I spilled it. No, I didn't. Cool. Whew. Okay. And the towel. Yeah, it was dirty, but it was clean, believe it or not. I work on a lot of stuff, as you can tell. Okay, so, Q-tippers. Q-tip brand. I love the Q-tip brand. It's probably the only way to go, Murray. But here's the deal. Again, going back, I know I talk a lot and. Me taking it out, doing that whole deal was just because I don't want to buy, you know, compressed air. I would just buy compressed air, not take it all the way out if I wanted to do that. Now, I'm going to dip my little swab. And here's the deal with this. Again, not, I mean, it's enough, right? I'm going to get up here. I got to open this back up. True story. So, on here, some description of what all this is. In here, this is the actual print, like line head is what they call it. Um, and so, this is where I would take... Right here, you could take a clean one first on the clean side, that's what I like to do. And you go right here through that, through that here. Hey, how's it going? My name's Wayne. Okay, and you'll see. Look at you're gonna see. I can show you on the camera. Where's the camera? Damn it. There it is. Okay, baby. I'm glad. Good job. That was the daughter. I had to clean her room. So you got some of that. Um, so we're gonna go in here. And we're gonna actually clean this head. Now, here's the deal with this. Be this again clean it real good um try to use good q-tips not the cheap ones on this because you don't want those little hairs in there if you can prevent it right so you clean it up now you're gonna see i don't know if you can see it it just gets so dirty see look at the dirt and grime you gotta clean that and all i like to do is i'll go back i don't even care i'll throw another i'll throw it over here i threw it in the little deal got another one. clean thing okay um now, the same method you can use on these rollers and roll, and you're supposed to use it actually on um, the roller here. And there's a sensor up here, too. You can see it. I like to just kind of go, hey, how's it going, sensor? All right, I'll do it real quick. And then I'll go like this on this side. Hey, how you doing, sensor? You can see, I mean, I'm telling you right now, this thing is dirt. Hey. Okay, so it is, it's bad, like bad, bad. And you're going to find that, so I like to do... Um, I'm saying get our ether. I hope I was videoing this the whole time. If it's not, I'm just going to be really upset. So I'm getting up here. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning here in the roller, the printer area, all that good stuff. Again, it does make a difference. Now, key to this, you're going to let this dry after you're done with this. 
for at least, I would say, on a safe deal, 20 seconds to more. I would like to just give it extra time. You're in no hurry when you're doing this, I hope. And you could do like a full like minute or two. Unless you're on the fly in the field. I like to just get in here. I like to clean all my stuff. I just do like that. This rubbing alcohol, I'm telling you. And I get the rollers. These and I turn the rollers. You can hear it move and turn. You can turn and you try to just get these clean, right? Because it is all functioning, moving, and it's not just going to be one area. It's dirty. It's just not. So I hope you're seeing this, Murray. You basically clean all this up really good. Get the 91%. No cheaper than that. It ain't good. No. No, 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 no. It can work, but it ain't good. You want, you want alcohol? Maybe some vodka. Okay. True story. Um, get this going. Get in here. I just, I just like cleaning. Like clean is good in these machines. I'm telling you, what kills these machines? If you ask anybody who works on them, smoke, dust, dirt, grime, and um, people who beat the shit out of them when they're playing them. True story. And that happens a lot because people get pissed and they think they own the casino and they don't. And yeah, yeah, it's a whole other story. So again, hope this is helping some of you guys. I'm gonna clean this up really good. I just, I want this to be good. I want this to be good. Okay. And you know, again, you can sit here for hours. It's not really hours, minutes. Trying to really clean up your printhead line. It's called the print line. But again, don't get it too crazy in here, saturated. But this stuff dries pretty quick, which is nice. Again, they sell a kit for this. I um, mean, go online, find it, Murray. I'm not going to pay for the kit. Not Wayne Paul. Not when he knows this works. I'm going to get in here and just really tooth clean it. Okay. Now, again, this was my business. And I didn't care. And I had lots and lots and lots and lots of money. Hmm, go by the shit. Right? But I'm not doing that. See how I'm rolling this? I'm just cleaning it. I just want to make sure the rollers are good. There's another roller down here. There's top and bottom rollers. That's what they call them. There's technical terms for all the stuff. Platins and platins. I don't... I'm not a book nerd. And I don't really... I don't care about all that bullshit. I don't. I just like to make sure my shit works. And it will. Guaranteed. Like the men's wildfire. I guarantee it. So this, I'm going to pop it back up, right? I'm going to let this kind of do its dry thing. I'm just going to get in here. I'm going to check everything out. There's wires in here. I like to clean. I can make sure everything's good. Down in here, too. There's a spring mechanism. I just kind of go over real quick. Now, you can totally tear these things down, right? Change out motors and parts and stuff. Um, I would just... If it doesn't work, you can find them out there for like 35, 40 bucks. Um, so again, it's not like if this thing dies all together, it's not like it's going to kill your pocketbook, but this maintenance procedure, by the way, every six months, do we do that? No, it's like, um, they say with your cars, you're like legit supposed to like, um, I don't know, check the oil every time and battery every time. Do we do it? No. Again, the tell on this is if it's not printing the way you want the lines and the whole deal and that's a true tell. So I'm gonna do this. This is like the what I call the a quickie. Make sure this roll right here. There's a roll right here. Nice here. All good. On the new ones again. I, I you know what I'm forgetting. This is a different model, but on the new ones they have a sensor up there. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. Again, you should see how nasty. Nasty. And I'm gonna have a pile of nastiness. So I imagine that I should have been doing this a little sooner. True story. Um, man, again, I'm just gonna show you. It's gonna work, and yay. But Murray, it's, this is a process. So you see how long it took me. This was hard because I was filming. So I hope you had the patience to watch it. And for those of you that are like, no, we're not watching this stuff. Can't blame you. Stay tuned for our keynote content. But we're gonna show you everything we can because we believe in showing you that. And we didn't make our name a slot channel, but we could have. We wanted to. Yeah, so I got my true story. I have to re get my tape going on there. Yay, way to go, Wayne. Okay, so 
Um, I am going to throw a little more, more in here, this area. And then, uh, sorry, again, trying to do all this and manage and, excuse me, burpage. I want burpage today. Look at that, nasty. Yeah, Jolene's glad I'm doing this. She even said that, she's like, are you going to clean it? Yeah, I'm going to clean it. You can um, get in here, true story. It has to be clean, too. I'm not going to do it on this one. That's the bill validator. Uh, there's different models, things like that, of course. So much of this stuff. Such good tech. There's a job in this, people. Go to school. I'm telling you. They'll send you to school. IGT will for sure. Just telling you. There is a job career, and especially the new ones. So the new ones, I don't know if you guys pay attention. I do. Um, I think I've seen her. The new ones, you're not seeing any of the signage. Um, the glass. You know what I mean? That's what I mean by signage. And what you're seeing is they're basically just the screens, right? And that way they can put up all the cool signage to the screen and have a top screen, bottom screen. And then when they get tired of that game, they can just you know, change out the software. And you have a new game with the screens. Save money. Smart. That's what I would do. Costs a lot of money for the screens, but nah. You don't think they get them cheap. They get them cheaper because they buy them wholesale. Okay, so... And they're actually buying the machines now. They're not leasing them. Back in the day, they used to lease them from IGT. I believe they're buying them now. Which is smart. True story. If you're a Californian, um, the law is you can have a Game King, which is what we have. Um, because, why? Let me tell you why. Because they are over 20 years old on the market. They still make Game Kings today. So you're allowed to have them. And I got them. And I got one that's... Way over 20 years, so no, I love, it's like my favorite. Be careful, see, look at, your stuff can break off, so pay attention. Pay the hell of attention to what you're doing. You should see just my pile of nastiness. Murray, I don't know how bad yours is going to be, but it's probably going to be like mine. So, um, the other thing I like to do is I like to throw a little bit up here in the, the seam, because you should. Again, is this the proper way by the book? Nope, it's not. I guarantee it, like the men's warehouse. It's not you can see there so good okay but we'll save you some money at least save you some time and if you do it regularly we'll save you yeah okay just do a double check because i like to i'll make sure i want this to work so i can look cool all right okay so i'm gonna go ahead at this point um i got it all plugged back in for you um at this point i'm just gonna throw it back in a little bit because i can and uh, not all the way because i gotta put my glass back in i don't want to have to do too much. I mean, it's all fixable. But now these, again, these tickets go in a certain way. Put these tickets in. That way it comes out the front. There you go. It's in there, okay? Gotta turn it back on, though. True story. So I gotta go back over here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, crap. You know what? I'm gonna undo my all guy here. clip. Be cool for a second. Not really. Come in here. Whatever you do, just be careful, people. Okay. Again. I'm going to say it again. I am not liable if you screw your shit up. I've been... Oh, look. I am recording. I'm almost done. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Well, this is a long video. I hope Murray enjoys it. It's boring. It's for the nerds. Boring stuff. It's stuff that, uh, again, I know you're probably not going to end up uh, watching, honey. It's a true story. Uh, not this one. Our videos? Oh, I, yeah, well, this one's uh, real fun. Yeah. Oh, that didn't sound healthy, did it? All right, hold on. We're going to go in. There it is. So, so, also, you got to make sure you feed this right, because if you don't, it won't line up. All right, so you want to make sure you line it up. So let's see if uh, we were successful. Um, did you call me, honey? Did you send me a message? Honey. Oh, never mind. You sent me a message. Did you just send me a message? Oh, is it that image? Okay, I'm not going to give that away on her. It's not what you think, people. Jeez. Um, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just test this. I did slam it back in. All right, I'm gonna wait for this to do its thing. It's gonna take a minute here. It's been, 
obviously give me a few issues because it's like, hey, dude, I need to be clean, too. It's actually, by doing this, thank you, Murray, I have found, figured out, I need to. Maybe it, you can see how good these tickets were before. They're really crappy. So, Murray, because of you, I will have a clean printer, I believe. So we'll go ahead. Um, I'm going to give it some fake money. Once I get this portion done, um, I'm going to charge the phone because it's about to die after I show you that the video is good. And I'll come back and put the glass and stuff together. I'll edit all this together so hopefully it won't be like an hour, but it could be. I take my time. We're thorough here at WJ Forever. Kano. Because, you know. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, as my man would say, Yeah, shoot. We're going to see if it's. Oh, hey, that's a good sound. I mean, she didn't break it. Uh oh, here's the true test. I'm kind of scared. Dun, 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 dun. It's better. Oh, it's better. It is. It's, it's getting there, right? So, if you want to compare them, a lot better. Now, again, is it perfect? No. Um, do I need to keep cleaning it? Yes. I'm going to go back and do it. Do you need to see that? No. But do you see the difference? Please tell me you see the difference. It's cleaning up on the bottom. See how I can almost read void after 30 days? Here, you can't. Okay. So I got to go back and I'll fine tune it and I'm going to do it. Um, because I am good that way. I am a man of my wood. But yeah, it's getting there. I need to fine tune. I need to clean. But you can see it makes a difference. Um, especially if you want to compare it. Let's see, that was a new one. The barcode looks great, by the way. If you want, And that's what's really important. But if you want to compare it to that one especially. Holy crap, right? And I just did that one tonight. So you, you can see the difference. Asset one, I can see it. Here it's just barely. Yeah, I guess it's it. That was good. True story. So we're going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to clean it up some more that way. Nothing different. I'm just going to go back with the Q-tippers. You saw how dirty all those are. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And I'm going to get back and I'll show you one more printout. I'll go ahead and um, give myself some more. I'm going to have to ram clear this thing after I'm done because I've been giving it so much free play. And then, um, which it's easy on this one, by the way. Um, I don't have to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, I cheat at ram clears on the here too. Anyways, okay. Uh, we'll stop. All right, Murray. True story. Went through here, cleaned this even more. Um, you should see how nasty these gift tips are. I, I just, you really got to get in here. Good to get it right, right? Eh, I should have just not rushed. But back in here, there's a roller too. You just want to get that clean, and it was just really dirty. And this roller here, you need to spin it too as you're cleaning. Um, yeah. So, true story. This and this, see how this sets up against it too. Also, you can pull this down. That that. No, you want this open when you do it. But you can have this down, and you can really clean in here, too. Just just really take your time uh, for the purpose of this video and show you that it does work and improves. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. Um, you can sit here and really literally keep cleaning. Um, luckily, I don't print. Like, even in here, there's, like, some dust. I need to get it. But I'm hurrying through this because I have... I'm happy. That's fine. And I need to... Now I'm going to... I think I have to clean this. I'll get to that. That'll be another video. You know what? I'll just do another tutorial on that one. And then, but first, before that, Murray, yeah, I'm going to do your lights. I hope you really are watching this. If not, I hope other people get something out of it. Um, so, I'm going to turn this back on. True story. Um, I need to. I don't have my light on, like I told you guys. I do have my light on my head. So, I'll take it off so you can see the reality. Um, get over here. And, uh, again, yeah, I'm try not trying to make it dizzy. Um, never do this kind of stuff for people. <laughs> Showing videos like this, but I'm doing it because I want you guys to. Um, if I can save you money, I'm gonna save you money too. Because I'm telling you, you have someone come over and do this for you, it's gonna cost you bucks. Or if you send out and buy a new printer because you think it's bad, it's not, this needs to be clean. Or, um, true story, like, just you're not gonna break it, do it yourself and learn something. There's nothing wrong with learning anything. I learn something every day. Just ask Jolene. Tells me how to do things right. Okay, so I'm going to push this in a little bit. 
and all these messages when you're feeding it. I like to, again, make sure you're feeding it that way and doing it the best you can. Like, you'll hear it going. If you don't have it pushed down far enough, it's not going to pull it, so you got to I have to get it in there and push down far enough. There it is. Okay. I'm telling you, in the field, they'll shut this machine off, and they will, um, true story, they will um, do this in like five seconds. True story. Okay, we're going to do this again. I already got 100 bucks in um, for the purpose of, oh, duh, i got to close this in. Can't shut the door. By the way, can't shut the door. But be careful. That, this printer... By moving in and out, controls, putting glass in, everything, the door it is a true story. So, again, it's not that complicated. I'd probably make it sound more complicated than it is, um, but it's not. Cash out. Hit the button. I like it. Cash out. Printing ticket. We'll see what we got this time. Let's see if it even looks better on that bottom end. Let's see. Yeah, this looks something. So, we're, we're going in here and we're checking things out. I am. God, it's just so hard. I have so many tickets printed out. But it does. It looks a lot better. Uh, let me go down to even the last one. I don't know if you can tell much position the last one, but I think you can. The barcode for sure even is starting to look. But even where it says, it's just, it's starting to really clean up. See, on the bottom one's the one we just printed out. So you can see, that's how you get your uh, deal clean. You just keep doing it, keep doing that way. Again, is there stuff that you buy going to be better? Yeah, it is. But this... I can go buy this and just keep working and taking my time. Especially if you haven't cleaned this in a long time, guess what? You're going to be spending a long time cleaning it. Um, and I'm happy with this. This is going to work good for us um, for a while. And so I won't do it again for another couple months. But um, I'm happy with that. I can actually see what it says. Void after 30 days now. And you know, void after 30 days. There we go. Lucky number seven, too. Isn't that funny? Now, I think I have to clean this. This thing hasn't been working right. Jeez. I take it back. It works. Okay. So, it took it in. It works. Um, so, we're going to go ahead now. I'm going to put this back on the tripod and show you, Murray, how to put it all back together real quick. Okay? Now, you can actually do this. You can still do this part with the machine on if you want. But because I told... Well... Yeah, because I told you to turn everything off. Just for safety purposes. I'm going to have to do that. On the fly, in the in the casino, you could do it with it on if you need it, though. Just make sure you're grounded and being careful. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I usually, like I did, I usually cheat and I'll turn that off right there. <laughs> versus turn it off here and there because I'm lazy. But I'm not going to be lazy today. I'm going to show you the right way. I'm going to turn it off. Lazy way. I'm gonna oh do this. Now I gotta open back the door. Okay. And hopefully this thing. And there is like a little just so you know, there's like a handle thing on here. I like to grab I'm talking on the video, honey. She thinks I'm talking to her. Well, that's funny. Pull this out. There's like a little spot back here you can see you can kind of grab the pull and then under here there should be a, a, a pull deal on yours, Murray. So right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Put this on the tripod. It's kind of right here. Where I got you here. You can see the grooves where the glass fits in, and then you can see these tabs that you got to clear the glass. And you, so you put the glass up in there first, get over these tabs, right? And then once it's set in there, right, then you can push your printer all the way in, and then basically put up all your chrome. So I'll go ahead, stop it here, and I'll get to that point where I'm back on the tripod. Okay. All right, W and J. Well, I am W and J. I'm part of the W. I'm the W. All right, Keenum Nation. Hold on. And Murray. Um, so I'm going to put all this back together. Um, so you can be done really quick. This is that tray part that I took out. So you see how it works. It slides in the back there, Murray, and you just set it down over the top. It's hard to do this, again, if I had more skills, I guess, when it comes to learning how to uh, hold and juggle and all that cool stuff. I would not do that for you, but... Not that, uh, not that skilled. Now the key to here, um, Murray, lift these wires up, and again, get all that stuff out of the way. Your paper could get in the way. It doesn't usually. Most you call it me. Oh, it's been a while. I need to ground myself. Lesson number one: power still off that one. And again, you gotta be careful. Um, 
One thing I did say, and I forgot to, or told myself, I was going to tell you, Murray, I forgot to tell you earlier. Um, before you are even working on, there it goes, nice and easy. Before you even go to work on this, you have sensitive hands, you might want to wear a little glove, um, something thin that you can feel stuff. But be careful because this is still metal and there is, it's it's all machined and fabricated, okay? So they, they take these and they fabricate this stuff and um, and they grind it, try to make smooth to where it's not going to hurt you. But back in here, you can catch a flare, you know what I mean? Like a shaving. So be very careful. Make sure this paper's pushed down underneath here. It's not, you don't want to have it jam in any certain way um, because again, this, this will jam and have that paper jam like I did, um, which I didn't even know. So it was cool. I started out the video awesome. So I'm gonna take um first things first. Um I took out the cash box. I'm gonna go ahead and bring all that back. All this stuff needs to be uh actually clean too. The cash boxes, it's funny, it says bad on it, but it works. Um all this stuff, like I said, needs to be cleaned and gone through, and I will do that. Um and if you guys that's a true story, like Murray, if you guys ever want to see any maintenance procedures, like if you want to see how much was we did the printer tonight. But the validator, any of this stuff, um, I, if I can help you guys, I will. Um, again, I want to save you money and time. Um, no one, um, I, I just feel like if you're willing to do it yourself, um, you should. Okay? So, and then without having to get, I like all screwed and tattooed. So, again, this part, the bottom, goes over kind of the slip of the printer. And I like to get it up in here, and again, two hands from here on, and get it just kind of in the groove. Where it's groovy. That's why I always say groovy. When I get there, you can kind of see, like, boom, over lip. It's there, good. Everything's groovy. Oh, again. Um, now I'm just going to kind of push back my printer. It's good. And then my chrome piece, um, it has padding. It needs to be clean, though. Lip. I'm telling you, smoke the things in these casinos, man. Like, it's, it's a true story. It just kills. Um, let me push this in. And uh, this is important here, Murray. We want to get this back in here in this lip if you have it. If you, some, some machines, um, they don't even have it when they give them, sell them to you. You got to be real careful if you're in the market for buying a slot machine. Because I learned the hard way a long time ago. But um, there's things that might be missing that you're just not paying attention with. Because you're like, I'm in a hurry. Yeah, I just want to get the thing. I'm excited. That kind of deal. Um, always your best deal. Now, at this point, usually I get a rag and I'm OCD and you know, I'll to start cleaning all this i'll do that after this video because we don't care i'm gonna go ahead and get back to this uh, power supply like i showed you i'm gonna turn it on and i'm gonna make sure this video is still recording it is that's good and i'm gonna um i got my light back here i'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna make sure everything is in full operation and uh thank you guys this was your tutorial Tuesday. Again, like, subscribe, it's free. Um, this is just some stuff we can do for you uh, if you're interested in this, in this kind of stuff. I, I'll make it, um, put this in the tutorial sections, okay? So there's our game. Uh, everything should touch. It does, okay. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, I guess have a hundred bucks in. Let's, um, let's cash out. Make sure we have a ticket that works. Print ticket. Let's see if it's clean. Oh my god, it is. It's a clean voucher ticket. Again, make sure you take your time. And the more you're in here and you're cleaning on this and you're doing, the more clear, more clear. Is that even a thing? All this is going to get. Um, I have to go do this. So true story. Um, take it. Ah, oh, that's good. Have um some other ones um, that are friend owned we got like how many of we got over there four got maybe two more coming we'll have six over there got six here and so again I'm the guy that works on them um, and true story you don't want to take your time on these and I have to do those over there too and it's been not in this it just takes time. Even if you get the kit, it's going to take time. But um, it can be done. So, Murray, go do it. Handle it. If you need help, uh, email me. And it's in the uh, it's in our About channel. But, yeah, 
and I'll do bulbs. That's fine. For you, Maria, I'll get it done before the next two sets of tutorial. Again, I know I'm winded. I know this is a long video, but for Murray, it works, and I'm okay. We'll have more content coming up on the other stuff. Um, from our Vegas trip, we've had a lot of sessions. <laughs> just, just so you know. Um, you really want to watch those. Um, okay, I got to clean up all this stuff. It's a mess. Um, and I got other things to do. I got to get this up for Murray, and uh, yeah, I need to lay down. The dog is laying down. No fair. Oh, Seamus. What a good boy he is. Okay, guys. Thanks. And Kino One Nation. Duh.